Now, before we move any further, I want to quickly touch on the subject of unwrapping and seams. UV unwrapping is a process that turns all the faces of your object into a 2D plane. So if I just solo this and I press Morph UV, you can see what's happening. It's just stretching out that 3D object into a 2D plane. And if you see all these different parts, you can see where they're coming from. All these different parts are cut into different part, in pieces, and these cuts are called seams. UV Master in ZBrush can only take you so far. For example, these two pieces here, if I press Morph again, you see where they're coming from. This is because I created a bevel here, so that I didn't have two, uh, two sharp edges at the ends of this stick. But to be honest, I wouldn't want them to be separate from this mesh here. I would want them to stay there. Now I can use UV Master Enable Control Painting and I can kind of choose where my seams are going to be with Control Painting. But uh, it's very fiddling. By that I mean it's hard to get a good result. For something like working with UVs, changing the position of your seams and reorganizing your UV space, I would recommend something like Blender, Maya, 3ds Max, Modo, something like that mainly because those applications give you a lot more control and it's easier to work with UVs than here in ZBrush. On the next video we're going to jump into Maya and we're going to organize our UVs so they don't overlap and on the following videos we're going to combine those textures. Don't forget to like and subscribe, support me on Patreon, hit the little bell button to get notifications on new videos and I'll see you on the next one.